Hello my green bits, I am RSP. And today, we are going to be talking about a topic that has begun to surge toxicity in the Persona community. You guys may not know this about me, but I am an avid Persona consumer. Like, I love Persona 3, I love Persona 4, and I love Persona 5. 1 and 2, I have not I have not dived my toes into those games yet, but I hope that I get to in some time. But this is something that is concerning Persona 3, or more specifically Persona 3 Reload. If anyone knows Persona 3, you would know about Persona 3 Portable, right? And if you know Persona 3 Portable, you know that they would have two gender protagonists. The male protagonist, which is the canon route, and you have the optional female route, which is of Femme C, which is what we what we in the Persona community call refer to as the female main character. We shorten female main character to Femme C. So, thanks to this guy named Scrabblefast, he has shared with us some information concerning the Persona per, concerning the Persona producer Kazuhisha Wada. Once again, talking about how he has no plans on adding the FEMC to Persona 3 Reload. Let's take a look at what was said here. So this reads, Back when we were planning the answer, we had considered the female protagonist, but the more we discussed it, the more unlikely it became. The development time and cost would have not been manageable, and due to the nature of the content, it's difficult to entrust this externally. Even if we were able to move forward, the actual release would end up being far into the future. I apologize to the fans who have supported us for so long, but this is the but this follows the same reasoning that allows us to do episode I guess or the answer P3R has just released. And there is currently a lot of player interest, so if we are to do an additional release, it has to be now. But since it is not possible for us to reach P3R with the female protagonist in this window, we just can't do it. I'm really sorry to all the fans who were hoping who were holding out hope but it is likely never going to happen. So just from that excerpt, literally is plain as day, like it is not possible at all for them to add the FEMC into Persona 3 Reload. And you wanna know why? If you ever played Persona 3 Portable, you would know that like, it's, it's, it's completely different from the male route. Like really, really different. Like. There are they're like they're, they're, they're like a whole bunch of like key points in the story that are like really different. There are many different characters and social links that concerning very really different people. And heck, not and heck, do we have, and heck, do we have to mention the fact that the story when playing as the FMC is like really different and like the outcome is really different? Like that much is that much is obvious enough. If we look at the comments here, if we look if we look at the if we look at the replies down here, if we look at the replies underneath this tweet, you can like you can really see that there is more people that are that are just really expressing their their fuming anger that FEMC is not going to be making it is not going to be making it through the is not going to be making it to Persona 3 Reload. And here's an example. Thank you, Atlas, for missing one of the main reasons why everyone wanted a Persona 3 remake in the first place. That FMC mod is looking real nice right about now. That is why P3 Portable is always going to be the best version of P3. It was such a good game for the PSP in 2010. People who owned that game for the console were considered lucky. And especially, th this one especially, they need to hire... They actually need to hire more people. P Studio is like a hundred people or something, which is straight up not enough. And of course, there are people in there that are under that are understanding of why this cannot be possible because, you know, like just remaking a whole entire story from scratch with a different character, it takes so much time. It takes so much time and requires a lot of money. So if they were to add the FEMC again into this game, well, <clears throat> not again. If they were to add the FEMC, in, if they were to add the FEMC into this game, they would literally have to like just go back from the very beginning. They had to make new assets for certain characters that were in the portable one for that route, and just literally they had, literally they had to reanimate everything again. 
and that costs and and that alone already costs a lot than than what it was than what it took to make p3 reload right now i'm just upset at the persona at the persona community myself because this behavior right now is really toxic and really insufferable like it like it really goes to show that people do like people do not understand what goes into making a game like i have like 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 when it comes to me i don't know everything but i know about like like what's on the surface like I know a little bit of like what's on the surface of when it comes to like game, when it comes to like money, budgeting, and and, and, that, and heck, that's the thing. People are saying that they're using budgeting as an excuse, and that's just not right. And do, and do you remember that one comment that I just that I just pointed out where it said that FemC mod is looking real nice right about now? They're talking about a mod that was made so that they can play as FemC in the game with like. There's like with honestly little to no changes. Honestly, it's just layering the FemC model over the current MC model. Well, there there are there are some changes. There are some changes. There are a few changes that will suit to the FemC, but overall, making like a whole mod that's like a total revamp or like what's the word? Well, well, yeah, whatever it is like 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 that's like a revamp. Of like the whole game, that's just not possible for a mod like him. People are weaponizing that mod against Atlas, and it got to the point where the actual creator of the mod itself had to make a statement. This is the person that made the mod, and this is what they had to say. In light of the recent reload news, I would like to remind people that I have worked on this project because because I love Persona 3. You can feel however you want about Reload, and I appreciate everyone's praise, but please do not use our project as a weapon against Atlas. This project was not made out of spite. Reload was not even announced when they started. I just like Persona 3's animated cutscenes and wish they weren't portable, which would not have been possible on PSP due to UMD storage limitations. The calculators and regulators implemented the animated scenes for the male protagonist, so I wanted to finish the job and give the female protagonist cutscenes too. I would not have done this if I didn't love and respect the work of the original developers. Thank you for your support, but please do not attack other but please do not attack others in the process. So even you can understand. Well, I hope you can understand. I hope that you guys can even understand how much how much toxicity this has spread across because they're dragging others who love the game themselves and wanted to like put their own spin on it so that way, you know, to show how much they love the series, how much they love the franchise. And yet people are like are like just this upset because they're they're literally throwing a tantrum because they're not able to get what they want. I even have my own space of people who are upset that FemC is like not in this, right? But here's the thing. And when has Atlas ever said that Persona 3 Reload was going to be the definitive way to play Persona 3? When did it ever say that? It didn't it didn't say that at all, right? I would like I would like someone in the comments right now to link me to a source where it said Atlas was going to make this the definitive way of playing Persona 3. Because honestly, to me, this is just ridiculous. It's upsetting. And I'm just at a loss for words. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm literally at a loss for words. Like, like, like no amount of words are enough to describe how disappointed I am in this community right now because their behavior is unacceptable and it's un and it's unbecoming of us persona fans and we and we're already waiting a long time for them to come out with persona 6 content well with any persona 6 news so why do we have to so why do we have to resort to such childish behavior and like just you know do it like this like just like just dragging other passionate creators through the mud like this, like just attacking Atlas because they are incapable of doing something that is that they do not have enough resources for. Like like it like it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. 
Persona community, please, for the love of God, y'all need to do better, okay? Y'all need, need to do better. Y'all need to check yourselves and be grateful that of what we have now. Like, heck, we have episode, I guess, the answer on the way that's like literally a month from now. It's literally, it's literally coming, it's literally coming here a month from now, and you're, and you're just gonna literally, I'm just, I'm just getting repetitive at this point, like, I'm, li like, I'm literally starting to repeat myself, I'm just, the bottom line is, stop harassing producers who do, who not have the power to get what you wanted, and you need to understand that you can't get everything that you want in life, and this is an example of that. You, you like you can tr you can try boycotting this if you'd like, but I do not think that's going to help you guys in any way in the long run. Because in the end, it is Atlas's decision. I can understand your frustration, but you guys need to chill out, okay? So that's it for this video. If if you if you guys would want to see me talk about more stuff like this, if you want to see if you want to see me cover more Persona content. Or any, or anything else of that nature, like cover any fan projects and stuff. Uh, let me uh, let me know in the comments. All right, all right. And I hope I hope I hope y'all living your best lives, y'all. Deuces.